Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome yourself back to another part of my Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus series. Today we're gonna be... Let's do, let's do a cane run. Let's see what we can get. Uh, I guess the goal would be boss rush... Um... Shoal... And... Dark room? Cause that's, uh, stuff we don't have for cane. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's it, really. I don't- I don't think I have any other real, like, big goals for, uh, for this run aside from that. I mean, those are pretty decent goals, to be fair, especially boss rush. Boss rush is rarely ever like, yeah, no, we can clearly go to boss rush. Or, like, by the time we're at that point, it's, like, way past boss rush. We're already, like, just right at the end of the run, like, damn game, thanks. I would have appreciated this way earlier on, but whatever. Ugh. First item is, uh, highly questionable. Game Kid might help us out in certain situations, but it's 100% the item we didn't need. To say the very least. He's always nice. Uh, I'm gonna save the spare heart, just in case. Paperclip, pretty alright. Uh, alright, let's see how our- okay, our boss is just Monstro. What I'm actually gonna do... Is I'm going to just try and beat Monstro normally. That way I can use the Game Kid... To... Run into the Curse Room... Uh, without taking as much damage. Actually... I don't- I don't know, like, I can do either. I can do either, I can just... Use the game kid right now, and chances are the boss will give me health. But I don't know, there, there's no guarantee it's gonna give me health, to be fair, so... I may as well just wait and see. Regardless, Monstro is nearly dead. There's there's no point. May as well just see what we can do. Okay. Oh, Pentagram is real nice. Um... Just gonna go in there normally, why not? Ooh... Well, damn. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Watch out with that. So now I can use that to get out of there. Scott free, and... I mean, that worked out. Not in the way that I wanted it to, but I mean, it worked out regardless. We now have three spare hearts under our belt. Uh, I would have preferred getting them from, like, a tinted rock or something. That would have been a lot easier, admittedly, but... It's fine. I would love to get any of these items, but I quite literally cannot. Unless I, like... Just suddenly get the ability to fly, which is not really the most common possibility this early on, especially. Unless we're like a Zazel or something, in which case, I mean, you're just kind of like, you're just kind of born with it. Great job. That is not how I should have done that. I don't know why I thought that was going to work, but oh well. I played myself and well, there's not much I can do about it. Ah, uh, shit. Okay. I need to stop backing myself into corners where I have no room to move. That is how I'm going to lose this run. I swear to God. Another key. Cool. If you could give me the item room, that'd be nice. There you go. Watch out for these motherfuckers. Uh, we're good? Yeah, we're good. Iron bar is... It's okay. Not a fan. Really. <laughs> it's there. I wouldn't say it's going to help any run or anything, it's just sort of there. Uh, I'm surprised we have, like, more or less no fucking money. Let's go to our boss, shall we? I don't really... I don't know. I don't think an item room is worth it whatsoever. So, like, there's just no point- or not item room. Uh, shop. I don't think a shop is worth it one bit. So, like, what's the point of trying to go to a shop? If I just have no fucking money, you know, it just doesn't it just feels kind of counterintuitive It doesn't feel like it'll be benefiting the run one bit Come on. Oh you motherfucker way to make most of that go to waste God damn it Why does little horn suck so much tears up that's nice all uh Pick up the spare hearts just in case. 
<laughs> well, well, well. Both of these are pretty darn good, admittedly. Um, that's pretty solid. Let's keep on going. I need to get myself some bombs, but uh, for now we're doing all right. Red hearts would be nice as well, but uh, for now let's just let's just play it carefully. Play it safe, do all that sort of stuff. Random uh, question of the day. And I'm mostly asking this because I've gotten back into uh, mobile games in specific before anyone asks. Recently I've been playing, um... I've been playing, uh, I've been playing Fate. Uh, Fate referring to Fate Grand Order. If you're familiar with that. It's pretty fun! I didn't really think I'd like it too much because I'm not a big uh, mobile game sort of guy, but I've been having my fair fair bit of fun with that. Uh, but basically, the question I'm trying to ask is, you know, what mobile games do you do you guys play, if at all? Like, I don't know. I know, I know it's weird because mobile games are such a... Mobile games are such a weirdly dedicated, like, audience. Like, you would think, like, a lot of these people would just forget about the game after, like, a week. And I'm sure there's a lot of that, but at the same time, it's kind of scary how dedicated a lot of, like, mobile game audiences are. Um... For example, Fate. <laughs> Although, I don't- I'm not sure Fate is a good example, because... Fate is one of those games that people have spent literal thousands of dollars on. You know, like, actually making headlines because of how much money people spend on it. That sort of game. Did I really just do that? Alright, whatever. Anyway. Yeah, so I've been playing Fate. I've also been playing... I forget the, the full-on name. Hold up. You know what? I'm just gonna... Just gonna search it. Because admittedly, its regular name just doesn't... It... It... It doesn't seem right. Okay, it's... <laughs> Bang Dream Girls... Girls Band Party. Okay, so if you've ever heard of Love Live... Think of that, but like, just slightly different, basically. It's, of course, it's different characters and whatnot. It's a fucking rhythm game. It's like a weird rhythm idol game, band sort of thing. It's nice, though. I'm having my fair share of time with it. Um, I've never been big on like rhythm games. Like, I like Love Live, but I never got into the game too much. It's, it's just kind of like that. I'm just, it's not a big rhythm game guy. I'm more the RPG or the shooter kind of guy. I don't know. Don't know about y'all. Uh, way, way, way before. I'm talking like a year or so ago. I used to be very, very into uh, Fire Emblem. Uh, the mobile game. I, um, I'm only saying it like that because I actually forget like, what is it called again? Is it Fire Emblem Heroes? I know Warriors is the fucking... console one, so I know damn well it's not that one, but yeah. So I got into that uh, a while ago because I actually quite like Fire Emblem. It's uh, not exactly my cup of tea in terms of RPGs, but I don't think it's bad by any means whatsoever. I've had my fair share of fun with it and everything. Uh, that shot speed down might hurt a lot, but oh well. So we got going on here. Oh man, <laughs> yo! All right, this shot speed. Downgrade might actually hurt a lot more than I expected it to. Good lord. Uh, let's go to the shop, shall we? But as I was saying, it's weird. I've just been very on and off about, uh, fucking, uh, mobile games. For some reason, I just forgot the word. I've just been very on and off about mobile games. I've never been super into it. Right now I'm back uh, into, or getting back into mobile games in a sense, I suppose. I don't want to try, I don't want to pick up too many mobile games, you know? Because I feel like if I pick up too many, then I'm just going to get consumed by it. And then I'm just not, I'm just going to neglect other stuff. It's just, it's just, that's just how it goes a lot of times. But, um, yeah. Luckily, that's not the case right now. Although the issue is getting into more than one mobile game is... Typically kind of difficult admittedly because then you got to dedicate a fair bit of time to each uh, And both are both are like pretty dedicated sort of games like you do have to sink in a fair bit of time uh, To really get stuff because both are 
I'm sorry if you don't really- are, I'm sorry if you're not really familiar with this term. Both are gotcha games. I guess the best way to describe it is just a game in which there there's like in-game currency that you spend to get like units or characters or something of that sort. I guess that's the best way to describe gotcha games. Basically gambling without a turn back. If that makes any sense. That's why a lot of these games are pretty frowned upon. Uh, cause, I mean, it's... It's honest to god, just... Border I wouldn't say borderline gambling, it just kind of just is gambling at times. Come on. Come on. Yo, yeah, this shot speed out is going to be... So painful. Ooh, that might help. Anyway, that's my uh, mobile game talk for today. Thank you for coming out to my uh, TED talk. I'm playing. I don't know, man. I've just never really seen the appeal of mobile games. I mean, yeah, there's the whole... They're, they're mobile. You can fucking play them on the go. But I don't know. I've, I've never been a big... I'm gonna play all these games on the go sort of guy. I like playing games in the comfort of my own home. Also, a lot of mobile games, especially the ones that I'm into, are just, like, not games you really want to play in public. For example, <laughs> Fire Emblem. <laughs> like, that's not a game you want to play in public, honestly. Especially with certain fucking characters. I'm looking at you, Tharja. Like, just, it, yeah, it's, it's not a game you really want to be playing in public. It's not like... Porn? But it's like, it, it's it's the, the, the closest weirdest thing for people who don't fucking know what Fire Emblem is or any of this other stuff. I don't know, man. Sorry if, uh, sorry for the random quietness there. I'm just trying to focus. Man, I'm not even gonna deal with this right now. <laughs> You guys already know I fucking hate greed with a passion, so I would gladly just take, uh, fucking taking him down that quickly rather than just fighting him with my slow ass shots. Okay, but seriously, if we had like shot speed up, we would probably destroy everything in our path, as well as tears up. But uh, we have neither of those, so yeah, this is kind of scary, really. I, I can't even lie. Can't even lie. Hold up. Fuck! Was trying to avoid doing that, and exactly that happened. I shouldn't have even gone that way for fuck's sake. <laughs> like, there was nothing for us there. Battery charge, that's cool. I probably should have gotten the charge. Oh, fuck. Kind of just gonna use it here, because I don't want to take damage from these motherfuckers. Uh, I'm not- I'm not dealing with that! <laughs> no, you're fucking crazy. Come on. I get it, these guys split into two. Dead bird, do you- you want us to play Eve? I can tell. I can- I can tell. The game's like subtly pushing me in the direction of like, Please play Eve. Gave us fucking Eve mas- Eve's mascara, the dead crow, it's like, I get it! You want me to play Eve? I'm not gonna play Eve though. That Eve sucks. I'm sorry. Like I'm 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 sorry to anyone that likes playing Eve and thinks she's probably the best character in the game, but like I just think her playstyle sucks. It's basically like Judas, but like less devil deals. <laughs> like that that's oh my god, stop spawning stuff, you fat fuck! Jesus Christ! For the love of God, stop spot- Okay, I- I kind of played myself there. Twice! Twice! I played myself there. Ugh. Ugh. I don't really have health to get- Oh! <laughs> yes! Well, we're gonna destroy everything in this run. How good is our range? Not that great. And our charge takes a fair bit of time, but... We've got Mom's Knife. We can tear through practically anything. 
which is really good. Our damage is insane right now. Holy fuck. 16 damage? Like, that's fucking crazy. Tempting. I'll take it. Gonna use this because I don't like bonies. Whoa! Ho, 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 that got a little too close for comfort. We're good, though. Tammy's head? Might be nice. Justice? Sure. I'll take it. Free bomb, basically. Give me something good. Spirit Heart is pretty damn good. Rest of that was just kind of okay. Of course that missed uh, literally everything, but whatever. This if we had something there. Come on. Alright, now, now that we have shot speed out of the way, I feel like we need range. I feel like if we had just more range, we would tear more or less everything in half. Whoa, oh God, I nearly hit myself there. Ooh, Jesus. Paralysis, okay, that's fine. It's okay. It's not hurting us too bad. God damn it, I always miss with that. Gotta get close, but not too close, you know? Well, that was easy. <laughs> what do we got? Bad trip! Fuck! That is one of the worst that we can get. Fuck is this? Coupon. Okay. It's not too great, but whatever. Actually, hold up. Let me put money in the donation machine. So we didn't get anything good there. Okay. Luckily, we still have room for more. Fuck! You know, maybe standing still isn't the best of ideas. <laughs> just, just the sudden realization I've come to. Hmm, we need, we need like a red health upgrade. We also need to pick up the pace a little. Kind of falling behind. I am very annoyed at the fact that there was no item room in that direction, but whatever. No item room this way too? What the fu- okay, okay. That was really bad damage. No secret room there is pretty disappointing as well, but come on. Nothing? Okay. This is not looking good. We've got so much damage under our belt, but we have so little health. This is a, a danger zone we're in, really. Fuck! I keep running into these shots, basically. Come on. Oh, uh, why is it- oh, <laughs> Why is it gotta be all these enemies? Uh, one bit of damage and I'm dead, basically. I wish Dead Bird would actually do something, but he's... He's just not. Like, wow, you cannot be any more useless, can you? I don't like- I don't like the way this spider moves. I don't like it one bit. There we go. Health upgrade. Health, uh, that's not a health upgrade. Well, this is looking pretty bad. Whatever our boss is, if we don't one-shot it, we're almost guaranteed to fucking die. Um, I don't think a secret room would be there. Secret room can't be there either. Um, let's see. Up here, maybe? No. Okay. What about over here? No. Okay. Um, up here maybe? Finally. Oh fuck. Yes! Okay. Kind of wish I got this a little earlier. Actually, wait, no, it's still, it's still good right now. Pretty Health up? Ooh. The secret room just, like, single-handedly saved the run. Holy shit. Holy fuck. That could not have been a more perfect secret room. 
If I didn't just get all that shit from the secret room, I probably would have died. Especially because it's the fucking bloat. Like, I am just garbage at the bloat. Alright. I'm gonna take dark matter and just go. I don't really have any need for anything else. We don't have much time, so we gotta pick up the pace and just, just go. Get our item room, get our boss, and just go. Fuck, okay. No time. Of course it's a dead end though. Why wouldn't it be? Wasting my fucking time like that. Might be better off just going to the fucking boss, really. No, thank you. Great job. Infestation is great. But, uh... We need to get to our boss, like, right now. Fuck! Well, this is bad. I think it's still possible, but, like, we need to find our boss, like, right now. Come on! Fuck! Just give me the boss already! Jesus Christ! There it is, there it is, come on, we're so close! Fuck! <laughs> Alright, I think we got this, I think we got this. Come on! Ah, oh, shit! We're right there. There we go. Perfect. Uh, negative. Thank you very much. Hmm. Both of these are pretty good, to be honest. So I'm taking Spirit of the Night and then Contract from below because I can't. Fuck! I took a split second too long. Man. That's bullshit. Well, you know what? I'm rerouting this run. If I can get to the hush, let's see what we can do. Because we're pretty damn strong right now. The hush does not seem impossible. We have nearly 20 fucking damage under our belt. Like, yeah. Something like the hush seems just like a fucking... Just like a, a lovely fucking stroll. It doesn't seem like a challenge whatsoever. But I mean, I guess we'll see. Humbling bundle will hopefully help us get some more health under our belt. Ah, shit. Could have been dangerous. Ah, for fuck's sake. Not bad. Don't take damage, though, which is never good. Alright, we gotta find this boss, though. Oh, shit. I don't like this one bit. <laughs> Perthrow might be nice. Spare heart from a poop is pretty damn good. Can't complain. Nothing. Damn, that's a bit of a letdown. See if we got a secret room here. We do indeed. Not too useful though, sadly. Oh well. Might be able to spawn an arcade on the next floor though. Which would be pretty damn useful actually. Come on. We're almost there. Wow. It's kind of ridiculous how quickly we shred through stuff. Um... I think I'm pretty sure picking up like any of these will indeed kill us, so... Gonna reroll that. Uh... Let's take Guppy's head. It's gonna kill us. Yeah, that's fine. So we can come back. Get Death's Touch. Um... I think I'll take Guppy's head. It might be a little more useful. 
All right. Only problem is now we don't really have uh, any health backing us. But then again, I didn't really have much health backing me with the spare hearts to begin with, so... Kind of just gotta hope we're okay here. Tears down? That's pretty bad. That's pretty fucking bad. Burkano might be useful. Could have been bad. Uh, if I go in there, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die. <laughs> so no thank you, no thank you. I would love to go into the curse room, but I kind of just can't. Which sucks, but whatever. More money, ah yes, I totally need that. What we got here? Answers. I'll just go, actually wait. Could be something, could be something useful. So I guess it's worth checking out. Hopefully it's worth it, I, I don't know. Just kinda, just kinda gotta hope for the best, really. Infested is pretty nice. Okay, please. Well, this is pretty lackluster. Came all this way for more or less nothing. I mean, sure we got some more keys and bombs, but we, we already have a fair amount of them, so... I don't know. Wasn't that useful. I will say, though, again, it's great how easily we're just shredding through everything. x lax might be nice. So our second secret room has something good. Bunch of pills. Okay. I'm excited. Invested. Found pills. Health up. Pretty good. Retrovision. Cheers down. Amnesia. Okay. Paralysis. I found pills. x lax I'll keep x lax For now at least. I think the other secret room was over here. Yes, it was. More stuff I don't need. God damn it. Thought that was gonna get all of them, but alright. Sure, why not? Gonna tear through everything, so no reason not to. Watch out here. Don't wanna get fucked up by accident. Perthor might be nice for a deal. Okay. Batteries are also pretty damn nice, because now we have a real good trail of flies just following us. Oh, shit. Kind of just accidentally ran in there, but I mean, it worked out, so... That's good. Is that it? There we go. Uh, well, there's the boss. Let's just do it, then. Fuck. We're alive at the very least, so okay, deal time. What do we got? Abaddon and Dark Bomb. Don't mind if I fucking do. Alright. Hush time. I think I actually have a good chance of beating the Hush this time. For once. For once. Not gonna say, you know, it's going to just win us the run or anything, but I do think it's, uh, you know, gonna give us a good chance. I'm taking Unicorn Stump because that just feels like the smartest option here. What the fuck is this? Yo, listen. Oh, well, that's pretty useless. Whoopsie. Played myself then. Just gonna take everything I can get here. Um. Full card, not too useful, admittedly. Should've used Perthro. Oh well. Don't need whatever else I got left. Well, that didn't work out for, for too long. Alright. Well, let's just get to it.
Come on. Almost there. Getting closer. There we go. Now here's the hard part. Well, I fucked up the- <laughs> I fucked up the card, nice. Great job, me. Let's see how this goes. Fuck's sake. We're doing pretty alright there. Oh, we've already done a fair bit of damage to this fucker. Come on. I wish these flies would fucking die, but, you know. It's not that easy sometimes, I guess. Holy fuck, we already have the hush at half health. I will say though, our current predicament with all these flies is not very good though. Come on. Alright, yep, yep, this is not looking good. This is not looking good one bit. Oh shit. Yeah, 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 send out your shots already. Oh fuck. Might be a bit problematic for us, admittedly. Come on. He's getting so weak. How are these motherfuckers still alive? Fuck. Oh shit. Come on. He's weak. He's weak. He's so weak. Is this really worth it? I'd say so. Actually, maybe not anymore. Wait. It was worth it. We fucking beat the hush. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Oh, shit. That's like the quick- <laughs> That's like the quickest I've ever beaten the fucking hush. What the hell? Alright. Well, damn. Alrighty. So anyway, folks, if you have enjoyed this part of my Afterbirth Plus series, of course, be sure to drop a like as well as a comment. Be sure to subscribe if you're really feeling it. And I shall see you guys next time. Bye bye <laughs>